So a lot of you know that I love resin 3D printing and I also have a passion for trying to find resins for resin 3D printing different action figures. This one here has seen better days, but in the past I've shown off some different resin 3D printed action figures in different projects. And unfortunately I've just never been able to find the perfect resin for printing action figures with. So a user HTB Toys over on Instagram reached out to me to let me know that they've developed their own resin specifically for printing action figures. And there was no way I wasn't gonna try and try this out. So they thankfully sent me over two different options that they offer, this Nano Flex and their Nano Tough options. And obviously we're gonna need some action figures to print with. And thankfully I found this amazing Patreon Donman art that creates every month a different set of resin 3D printable action figure, different heads and accessories, and even a 3D printable action figure body that was a custom body that they designed that you can run off and 3D print and it's part of their welcome package for their Patreon. So I immediately signed up for this Patreon and downloaded that figure and that's what we're going to be running off and printing today. So I fired up some of my favorite calibration tests and unfortunately they didn't quite turn out right. So I decided to up the exposure just by a few points and it worked so much better. I also ended up slowing down the print speed a good bit because I have the Mars 4 Ultra printing stupidly fast. So slowed that back down and these are looking really good. This is also a very clear looking resin. I'm, I'm honestly kind of shocked at how clear this resin and these prints are looking. I then went and got all of the files supported and sliced and ready for printing. And the first resin that we're gonna be working with is the Tough resin. Now this took about two hours for all of the files for the figure to print. And again, looking so good with this resin coming off the Mars 4 Ultra. Now I wanted to get a little bit of a better look at the prints. So I'm gonna reprint them, but this time I'm adding some red alcohol ink to give them that bloody red look. And while these files are printing, I wanted to say a big thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. They're the makers of the Elegoo Mars 4 Ultra. It's easily, hands down, my favorite resin 3D printer that I own. It's a combination of build volume and the price point and just how utterly fast this thing can print. It blows me away. The details you can also get off of it are mind blowing. This thing is just an all around amazing resin 3D printer for the price. I highly recommend grabbing one of these. And if you're interested in more details about about it or any of Elegoo's other products, you'll find links to those down below. And these tented prints look so good. Look how glossy and clear they are. I just love how clear translucent resin looks while it's wet. Unfortunately, it does dull a bit once you go in and start cleaning it and curing it. And now that I've got some of these printed with the Nano Tough, it's time to run it back with the Nano Flex, which should add a little bit more flexibility to our prints. And again, I'm printing these in just the standard option that they come in, which is a clear translucent resin. And again, just looking so good, slightly more yellow in my opinion than the other, but still pretty dang clear. Now let's see if we can do a dark set of prints by adding some of this black resin pigment to the mix here and see how it turns out. And oh, man man, this does not go very well. This is, I don't know if I added too much of it or what, it just made an absolute mess. And yeah, these just did not work. It just did not print properly. And since these are translucent prints, I'm gonna be using some fresh IPA to clean them off. And oh, how good they look. Again, this just the wet look of these prints looks so fantastic. And the makers of the nano resin recommend that you actually cure anything that you've resin 3D printed in a clear cup of water with the UV light for only 30 seconds. So it's still gonna retain some of the rigidity as well as flexibility, but allow those parts to cure. I'm also offsetting it a little bit on the side so it can get the under UV light effect for any of the objects on the bottom at least a little bit of that UV light there. And one other thing that I'd recommend is aligning all the parts in the sequential order that they're gonna need to be assembled in. This will make your life a little bit easier when it comes to actually getting these things all together in the proper place. All right, and I've got a bowl and I'm gonna fill it up with some warm water. It's uh, not exactly boiling water, but it's hot. And I'm gonna take the first few sets of pieces here and put them in there and let them set in for about 20 seconds here before we take them out and try and push them together. All right, let's take these out. 
Let's see if we can pop these together. I think my water needs to be boiling hot. It's it's not go pressing in there. Yeah, it's hot, but it's not piping hot. Oh, that went in really well. Oh, and that went in really well. In the instructions, it said not to move it. So I'm gonna try not to move these. And yeah, I might've just ran out and bought a kettle for this project. So after using the boiling water and getting the figures assembled, I let them rest for about 30 minutes or so just to fully cool off and try and maintain their overall shape. Unfortunately, I think for the most part, like some of it went together really well. Uh, one set of the files here, this was the tough set. This was the tough clear. I had some issues where some of the joints ended up breaking. So I don't know if it's an issue with the resin or if the, the files themselves were kind of thin. Some of the joint areas also are kind of, they almost seem like they're overextended, but it could be again, some of the different ways that it printed. I'm not entirely sure, but what I'm loving about it is even from what I'm seeing here so far, the joints are pretty stiff on this figure, like in its shoulder. Now this head, I didn't even get fully on. I couldn't get it on all the way. But the body, then the torso is nice and tight. This is nice and firm. I don't know how well that's gonna hold up over time, but as of right now, I'm actually able to pose this guy and it still maintain his, uh, his, his posture, his shape there, which is really cool to see. So, so far this resin, this is the tough version again of, of the resin and it worked pretty dang well. And here's the same figure, but in the flex resin option, this one, in my opinion, was, seemed like it was a little bit easier to, uh, to get together. Now, again, I don't know, it might not be as durable as the other one, but it's definitely got a little bit more give to it. And all of the, I was gonna say all of the joints are nice and stiff, but that was one of the pegs. Some of the arms are slotted in with pegs versus like a, uh, I don't know what the, the correct term is. Actually, this, this arm piece right here, I just noticed has split. So that's why that's not fitting together properly there. But uh, yeah, the head popped on perfectly there and I can actually pose that as I need to. The torso is able to be uh, manipulated here and posed. The uh, Again, the legs articulation here is working really well. Look how bendable those knees are as well for this figure by Donman Art. And here's the one that we added the resin dye to. This one is still a good, a little bit loose. It's again, that nano tough. I, I'm honestly thinking the flex might be the best option so far from what I've f at least seen and felt with the tightness and firmness of the figures. This one still is a, a, a bit wiggly. It'll hold in place uh, in parts, but it's not as firm and tight as I was seeing with the flex there. But overall, this one here, just the look of it is so friggin' cool. So I'm having some issues with the audio on my camera, so I'm just making this from my phone. Uh, I've been playing around with the figures for the last, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes, shooting some extra B-roll, and they've definitely gotten a lot looser in the joints. The figures themselves are still holding up really nicely. I do think this tough and flex resin options are still the best resin that I've tried to <laughs> for 3D printing action figures. Yeah, a piece just fell on the ground there. But uh, if you're interested in these, I'll have links to them down below. Be aware that these are made, but like this resin is made by an individual that was just interested in making better resin for 3D printing action figures. It's not a big company or business or anything like that. And I think you buy it directly through Etsy or eBay or something like that. I'll have links to it down below. And I think it is definitely something you should check out if you're very very into resin 3D printing action figures. I also want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continuous support. If you're interested in things like my resin 3D printer settings that I used for this nano resin, you can find those over in my Patreon. Hey, let me know what you guys think about this nano resin option specifically designed for resin 3D printing. I'll obviously have links down below where you can find it as well as links to the files here and the Patreon. Don and Art, this is just an amazing, I'm so happy I joined that Patreon. I'm going to be printing off a whole bunch of variant heads for different figures that I have and different projects. You'll definitely be seeing more from that. And if you have any other resin suggestions for resin 3D printed action figures, let me know down below because I'd love to explore that some more. Hey, thanks so much for watching all and I'll see you next time.